So you have a GoPro Hero 9 and you want your footage to look like this. But it looks like this. I think I have something that might help you with that. These are the Teleson ND filters, specifically the ND8, 16 and 32 for the GoPro Hero 9 Black. Uh, and today we're going to unbox them, have a quick brief overview and hopefully give you some tips to make your videography better. So they come in these or in this single little black box, nothing too flashy, very light, super small. Um, in terms of the unwrapping experience, not that much, two little pieces on that side. Get that out the way. Ooh. Okay. So I got the set of three. And as you can see, there's only three in here. There's obviously a space for the fourth one. So I'm assuming it's exactly the same packaging. They just drop a fourth one in. The fourth one is just a CPL filter, I think it is, which is just kind of like, I suppose, a, 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 a glare filter. It's got no stops of light. Um, features or anything like that it's just a glare filter so let's take these out well first of all good packaging I like it real small let's get these out and we'll put them on the table so ND8 ND16 D32 yes. some ND filters on the Hero 9 you twist this off the lens cap off but these ones you seem to just pop them over the top and they slot in there like that which I think this looks pretty good I mean mm, very tidy very tidy obviously no difference in size between you know the various models they're all the same but it looks good, it just slots on, doesn't really cause any issues. Does it come off very easily? Oh. oh shit. No, the answer is no, it doesn't come off very easily, so that's great. Push it on. Does it make your GoPro much bigger? I guess it does make it a little bit bigger. Let's, for the sake of this, put this here. Guess it does make it a little bit a little bit bigger but not by much not by much i mean for the purposes of what i'm using this for i'm going to stick this on top of a drone and um you know this looks great to me fantastic little nd filters so you know the, the difference in price between these these were 25 pounds sterling um, the free well set is I think 50 quid somewhere around there and the polar pro set is you know over 70 or over 60 pounds that's for sure so the price difference between the various different models or the different companies is, is drastic and you know I'm not really willing to spend that much money on um, on ND filters so something that I will mention is I intend on taking this everywhere the drone goes so i need to find a place to put these so whilst this is this is the gripe right the polar pro and the freewell set come in a very slender you know slick little case that you can take with you and it slides into your bag this doesn't come with that this comes with the box and I'll, although it's it's small yes it's not you know small enough that you can slide into the side pocket of your backpack something like that this is you know this is relatively large when you think about you know the, the filter itself is super thin you know i mean it's the form factor of the of the nd filter itself is 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 very small but the form factor for the box that you carry it in or the carry case is not so i think i'll be looking for um a solution to that probably um 
a cloth type system maybe some you know you know there's in, there's nd filter cases around so i think the one that i'm probably going to use is the one listed down below uh, and shown here on screen something like that will be the form fact that i look for um to take with me on my you know my everyday carry into my backpack but as far as an in-depth testing goes i live in the uk and i unfortunately don't have weather on my side i don't have bright sunshine either so the only nd filter that i've used thus far is the nd8 and i've taken my footage from looking something like this to looking something like this which is a world of difference i've got natural motion blur now the colors look better the highlights aren't blown out so for me would i recommend getting these from a sort of gopro perspective using it as an fpv camera uh, on top of my drone yes absolutely i would suggest it for 23 pounds for 23.99 you can get yourself uh, three nd filters which are going to do you a world of difference they don't come in a handy carry case like some of those other brands do but you know for a relatively cheap price you can pick up one of those carrier cases um, and you can throw this in your bag so would i get this yes um, the link will be down in the description below i'm not affiliated or anything like that just kind of sharing my thoughts on this product so i hope you enjoyed if you did please consider subscribing uh, if you liked the video give it a thumbs up if you didn't like the video i'm sorry uh, and yeah have a lovely day my name is michael if you didn't know and i'm sure i'll see you guys in another one bye, -bye.